Hello, this is Kenny Moore from TaggedPDF.com, introducing a series of short tutorials intended to help meet the PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 Refresh, the long-awaited and badly needed update to the U.S. Federal Government's Section 508. The new Information and Communication Technology Standards substantially raise the bar for high-quality PDF accessibility. Section 508 now aligns with ISO Standard 14289, the authoritative worldwide standard for PDF Universal Accessibility, PDF-UA. Now this is a very welcome, very historic leap forward for electronic document accessibility, but it poses challenges for those of us responsible for meeting the new requirements. The rules have gotten ahead of the mainstream tools, and uh, there is not always an obvious way to fix PDF accessibility errors. Now specifically, the tutorials will explore these common errors and warnings encountered when using the excellent free PDF Accessibility Checker Pack 2 from the Swiss Foundation Access for All. Pack 2 is the first automated checker for PDF UA compliance and it remains the only free one. The tutorials will also share suggestions for resolving the errors and warnings using Acrobat Professional 11 for Windows. Uh, now, if you have a different version of Acrobat Pro, for example, the older version 10 or the new DC, uh, the concepts will still apply. But uh, the specific location of tools and features within Acrobat Pro, some of the click here, then click there stuff, uh, that might vary. Now, the goal of the tutorials is to help meet the new 508 requirements. But in doing so, the real goal is to optimize the reading experience of people who use assistive technology and reflow-capable mobile devices. PDFs are notoriously challenging for assistive technology users. And it's not because PDFs cannot be made accessible, but because we rarely make the time and take the effort to do so. Uh, as a result, it's very common, it's actually, it's actually pretty typical, to find visually beautiful PDFs that provide amazing content to users who experience the visual representation of the document, but are incomprehensible to assistive technology users. Now, it does take some time to do PDF accessibility right, and time is money. Uh, but the investment is small in comparison to the total time required to develop and publish a high-quality document. And the dividends from accessibility can be substantial, both in terms of statutory compliance and the resulting decreased liability, as well as optimizing the reading experience of the broadest possible audience, including users of assistive technology and mobile devices. An accessible PDF is also a mobile-friendly PDF. And we can see an example of this using the VIP Reader from the Swiss National Association of and for the Blind. Like assistive technology and like mobile uh, reflow capable mobile PDF readers, the VIP reader uses accessibility tags to help optimize the experience of the reader. You can see how this accessible PDF resizes itself to the size of the window, just as it would resize itself to the size of a, the screen on a mobile device. So, even if your documents do not need to be accessible to assistive technology users, PDF accessibility is still vitally important for the huge and rapidly growing number of mobile device users, because for Reflow to be reliable, the PDF has to be rigorously accessible in accordance with the new 508. Now, I need to give some credit uh, where it's due. Some of the suggestions in the tutorials the credit belongs to the kind and knowledgeable accessibility enthusiasts on the Adobe Acrobat Standards and Accessibility Forum and on several LinkedIn groups, but most especially about PDFUA. I did puzzle out uh, many of the suggestions uh, on my own, but by no means all of them. I did have help on, on, on some of them. So thank you for viewing this introduction. Uh, next, we will take a quick look at resources for PDF accessibility, uh, testing and remediation, both the bare essential resources as well as some nice-to-haves, and then it will be on to the tutorials. So this is Kenny Moore. Uh, please feel free to contact me on the Contact Kenny page 
at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.